Discover the remarkable journey of Richard Burton, an esteemed actor renowned for his captivating performances on stage and screen. His talent and charm have left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Have you ever felt inspired or moved by his work? Share your personal stories below. Stay tuned for more intriguing facts in this video. Richard Burton, a famous actor, made a lasting impression on the big screen with his unforgettable roles. He starred in many timeless movies that people still love today. Some of his best-known films include Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, with Elizabeth Taylor, Cleopatra where he played Mark Antony, and The Spy Who Came In From The Cold as Alec Lemus. These movies really show off how talented he was. For anyone who hasn't seen his work, watching these films is a great way to see why he was so amazing. He was able to capture audiences with his incredible acting, leaving behind a lasting impact on the movie world. Richard Burton's influence as a movie star is unmatched, with his performances being remembered for a long time. In the film Where Eagles Dare, he played Major Smith. In a scene where he and Clint Eastwood climb a steep fortress wall, he moved effortlessly, unlike Eastwood who struggled. Burton, a chain smoker and hard drinker, opted to ride a crane due to health issues, while Eastwood climbed. During World War II, he attended Oxford for six months as a Royal Air Force cadet. He was part of the Oxford University Dramatic Society, but didn't return after the war, choosing instead to pursue acting professionally. Nearly 30 years later, he returned to teach poetry at Oxford for a semester. He was known for his generosity, like paying off a widow's mortgage during the filming of Wagner, to whom he had never spoken. In the world of acting, there was someone who truly left a lasting impression. He took on roles that challenged him and captured the hearts of audiences. One memorable performance was as Martin Dysart in Equus, where he explored the character's inner world with depth and sensitivity. Another standout was alongside Dame Joan Plowright in Wagner, where he delivered a captivating portrayal that earned praise from all corners. However, in 1974, he faced controversy when he spoke out against Sir Winston Churchill. Some speculated that his bold stance was influenced by his relationship with Princess Elizabeth of Yugoslavia, which ended abruptly after much media attention. Despite facing backlash, he stood firm in his beliefs. In Cleopatra, he starred as Mark Antony opposite Dame Elizabeth Taylor. Despite challenges during filming, including disagreements and drama behind the scenes, their chemistry on screen was undeniable. Interestingly, their views on the film changed over time, finding humor in it despite initial reservations. They even enjoyed a spoof of the movie while aboard their yacht, the Kalisma, a moment of lightheartedness in their busy Hollywood lives. In summary, this actor's journey was marked by highs and lows, each role and relationship shaping his path. His impact as an actor and public figure continues to resonate, a reminder of his talent and complexity as a person. The filming of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf took longer than expected, causing him to withdraw from robbery. That role went to Stanley Baker instead. In the movie, he played George. Richard Burton, a lifelong alcoholic, had a rule never to act drunk. In the film, he portrayed a sober character despite the challenges of the role's varying levels of intoxication. And where Eagles Dare, Clint Eastwood criticized the script initially. Most of Schaffer's lines went to him, while Eastwood handled the action scenes. This dynamic between the two actors added depth and complexity to their on-screen partnership. Despite initial apprehensions about the script, the film became a classic in its genre. Known for his controversial views, he once made anti-Semitic remarks despite claiming that his maternal great-grandfather was Jewish. His personal beliefs added depth to his public persona. In one of his notable roles as George in a famous movie, he contributed to cinema history. The film made waves by being the first to secure nominations in every Academy Award category it was eligible for, showcasing his talent alongside other well-known actors. Beyond his on-screen achievements, his habits were equally noteworthy. According to his younger brother, he was a heavy smoker, consuming around 100 cigarettes a day. However, a biographer suggested a slightly lower figure of approximately 60 cigarettes daily. In 1980, prompted by his third wife, he temporarily quit smoking, demonstrating a willingness to adapt his habits for the sake of his health. In his life, these aspects reveal a person whose controversial statements, cinematic accomplishments, and personal habits were all part of a larger narrative. During the filming of Cleopatra's entrance into Rome, thousands of Roman Catholics who were extras became a serious concern. Soldiers packed guns lined the streets with barriers and cables to prevent an assassination. As Taylor came through the arch, the crowd broke through the barriers and cables. 
But as she and the movie crew feared for her life, she realized that they were shouting Basio Liz. Basio Liz declaring their love for the actress. Instead of remaining in the highly strung character of Cleopatra, Taylor began to cry and thank the crowd as she blew kisses and the scene had to be reshot. Robert Hardy also recalled that Richard Burton fully encouraged and nurtured Elizabeth Taylor's portrayal of Martha as he was confident of her winning an Oscar if she followed his advice. He was correct. Jack Valenti, the newly appointed head of the MPAA, at the time said years later, this film was like a burning arrow that was flown into a haystack. When issues over certain dialogue were raised with the production code office, the studio pressured Mike Nichols to make certain changes. For instance, the scene towards the beginning of this movie had Martha yelling, screw you, to her husband just as he opens the door to their guest, Honey and Nick. Taylor had already shot the scene and said the line is written. Warner Brothers, however, had Nichols change the line to Gotta Mew, which Taylor then re-recorded. Since the new phrase clearly didn't fit over the words her mouth was saying on the footage, Sam Osteen used a shot of her back as she starts to say a juxtapose with a shot of Richard Burton opening the door. It worked perfectly. Even with the line changed, the production code office refused to give this movie its seal of approval, citing its overall content and language as too vulgar. Warner Brothers appealed, but the decision was upheld. Throughout his career, this actor has left a lasting impression on audiences with his unforgettable performances in various roles. One notable portrayal was of the character Reverend Dr. T. Lawrence Shannon in a well-known production. Interestingly, another respected actor was first offered this role, but declined due to its strong influence from a famous playwright. This decision allowed the actor to bring his unique talent to the character, leaving a significant impact on the performance. In another movie, his portrayal of the legendary conqueror resulted in scenes from the film being excluded from a documentary. This speaks volumes about the intensity of his performance, which deeply resonated with both audiences and critics. Additionally, in a different film, he took on a role at a young age, showcasing his ability to convincingly portray characters at various stages of life. These diverse roles showcase the actor's versatility and depth, solidifying his status as one of the most celebrated actors of his generation. His contributions to cinema continue to inspire and captivate audiences, leaving a lasting impression that transcends time. In his journey through movies, he struggled with his contract's limits, longing for creative freedom. Despite his attempts to break free, he remained tied to the film due to his contract. Then came a film where his co-stars admired Elizabeth Taylor's acting skills. Amidst this admiration, he also delivered a performance that stuck with the audience. One film showcased his talent, earning him and his co-star acclaim and nominations. However, he never won the Oscar despite many nominations, marking a high point in his career. Throughout his career, he consistently gave memorable performances, leaving a lasting mark on cinema. Despite not winning the top award, his impact on film history remains clear. In the world of film, unexpected challenges often arise, shaping the final product in remarkable ways. In one instance, a disagreement over a character's wardrobe nearly altered their appearance. During wardrobe tests, the director wanted to add glasses to the character's look, but the producer objected. This led to a heated exchange, with the director ultimately refusing to compromise, ensuring the glasses remained in the film. In another film, exterior scenes were captured before a prestigious award ceremony, adding a unique layer to the story. During a bar scene, a television screen briefly displayed a nominee from the same awards, creating an unexpected connection within the movie. In yet another project, a group of actors showcased their camaraderie by seamlessly transitioning between roles in different films. This highlighted not only their collective talent, but also their on-screen chemistry, enriching the viewer's experience. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the intricacies of filmmaking, where even the smallest details can have a significant impact on the final product, 